why would I want to hear some story about raccoon got tangled up in your tree? If first time you ever forced some innocent wildlife into one of your lessons, you think I corrupted Charlie. You know, maybe it's spreading like wildfire. You know, I, I did have a girlfriend once. You want to hear about my girlfriend? Yeah, a girl. We were together all through high school. Brother was my best friend. Just Susan and John and Robert and our families were thick as thieves. And graduation, she went to Paris. I moved to Atlanta. John stayed right there in Jasper. And then pretty soon he came to visit. Didn't like it. Ran back home. And a month later, he was dead. See, while he was there, he tried to use an old starter pistol I had lying around. <laughs> Bam. I heard it through the uh, in the next room. And there were powder burns on the side of his head. But I didn't want to make a big deal out of it because I was trying to work through my own things. How about that? And he went home and bam. And Susan and me, we promised we would never, ever do something that despicable. And he, he didn't even have the decency to come to us and say, hey, I'm going to off myself next week. Is there anything you want to say to me first? I mean, <laughs> as a courtesy. <laughs> and we screamed at him about how angry we were, just like like it could pass through stone and make him hear our pain. Thought that that was that. And then <laughs> on the anniversary of John's death, the exact minute, Susan got in her bathtub and blew off the top of her head. No. No water in it. And uh, finally I knew it was my turn. So I shot up anything, anything that could do the job, heroin, cocaine, anything. And you were right. I was a druggie. <laughs> I had a mission. You should understand that. And I kept at it until... You know, until one night I, I shot up some crystal meth and I almost, you know, I may have, um, I'm pretty sure that I saw John and when I finally crawled over from the edge, it made me feel like there was just water was coming out of my nose. And I kept thinking about if she'd had water in that tub, Susan, you know, could have cleansed her maybe for whatever it is that happens and then i was here found my way to the church of paradise god that name is embarrassing you know that don't you <laughs> of course <laughs> you keep giving me all these these scriptures and speeches and stories and one minute it's what happens to a sodomite and then it's a fucking raccoon i, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't make Charlie do anything. And you just said, just now, you said that every man has needs. Every man has needs. And, and you said, God forgives me if I ask for it. That's what you said. A man has needs. You just don't, just don't you say it, any of it, if you don't mean it. Oh.